Bravos was the biggest winner of the Doom of Valyria. In short, the once great kingdom of slave drivers whom the Bravosi citizens escaped was obliterated suddenly by a massive volcanic eruption. With the freehold wiped out by a natural disaster, its economy dragged down everything dependent upon it. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. 8 out of 9 free cities had their coin tied up in Valyrian vaults when they were consumed by lava. The resulting chaos drove off potential investors and businesspeople for generations. Bravos was the only city in the region not inexorably tied to a doomed economy. As a result, after their unmasking, Bravos became the central hub for commerce in the region. The Iron Bank of Bravos became the largest financial institution on the planet. Bravos may seem like a cluster of wealthy decadents, but they're inarguably one of the finest places to live in the world of Game of Thrones. Their strong adherence to freedom, love of democracy, immense wealth, and impossibly cool architecture help them stand out. Westeros has a lot to learn from the free city of Bravos. Of the nine free cities in western Essos, Bravos is unique in that it was not founded as a colony of the Valyrian freehold. The city was established by a large group of slaves, who overpowered their Valyrian captors and took control of the ships that were transporting them. Knowing they would be severely punished for such an act of rebellion, the slaves sought a refuge as far away from the freehold as possible. Bravosi histories claim that a group of wise women priestesses who followed the religion of the Moonsingers prophesied where they would find sanctuary, in a distant lagoon surrounded by pine-clad slopes, where the thick fog would help conceal the refugees from passing dragon riders. It was to just such a place that the refugees ultimately arrived, and their city began to expand across the many islands and mudflats that dotted the lagoon. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.